What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Taisha Lachey, and I am back with another freaking video. And as you can see, it's not a vlog. Um, I did want to throw in some nail content for my babies who did subscribe to me because of my nail content. So here is the second episode of the How To series. The disclaimer in the first video does still apply. I want you guys to hold yourselves accountable and learn your craft outside of the nail art application prep, all that stuff. Learn the nail disorders and skin diseases and sanitation and all of that good stuff. But let's get into the video. So I'm really just putting a very thin bead of clear acrylic where the natural nail and tip meet. This is just for added support and strength. I don't want my tips to lift. I don't want to give it any room for any type of greenies to happen or anything like that. So I like to add a clear bead right at that point. Now I didn't show it, but I will put it on the screen. I take my brush and I flatten it into my monomer and I get all of the bubbles out. And then I drag as much of the monomer out of that brush as possible. Um, just leaving enough to pick up a really not too dry, not too wet, but just right bead. I will also try to show you how I do that. Um, and then I place my first bead. I do not swipe my acrylic down. You waste product one that way and two, it pretty much shears the acrylic out so you wouldn't really be able to get the color payoff that you want. Um, the second bead, I go a little bit closer to the cuticle but not right at the cuticle just yet. And this one, I will just build my structure um, I do swipe this one because I got most of my color payoff in my first bead. Now at my cuticle bead, I am placing it as close to the cuticle as possible, but remember not to flood your cuticle. You can push that product back to get it as close to the cuticle as possible. Um, it helps to hold the finger down in a downward motion. This is also easy if you have a armrest that sits up higher off of the table, that way gravity can do its thing and just help guide the acrylic, you know, down toward the free edge. So this is basically the structure for my application. I think I've gotten pretty good at my application. Of course, it takes a lot of hard work. You know, it's gonna take some time for you to really get that flush cuticle, but just keep practicing and you'll get it. So I'm gonna let you guys watch uh, the next few fingers and I will come back when um, there's some more explaining to do. Dash it, itchy, the schedule busy My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie Life is amazing, it is what it should be Been here for ten, but I feel like a rookie I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in tussies Booked for three years, man, you can't even book me It's me and little baby, the going crazy Weezy produced it, and Weezy have made me And she held it down, so she got a Mercedes Your money records, the army, the navy It ran me ten thousand, I threw it like Brady The foreign is yellow, like Tracy and Katie I trust in my they never betray me Met all these they sweeter than Sadie When I started out, I just took what they gave me Did all the favors, they never repay me It worked in my favor, cause nobody said Same new whip, got no keys Tell them I told no stash, please Soon as I, you can go, leave Got M's in the bank, like S and D Party your glasses, I won't even peek at you Yellow Ferrari like Pikachu I got on waiting and watching what he gon' do Tryna pee what I do, tryna steal my moves 2500 for a new pair of tennis shoes The same price, I can make the ones come and finish you Lawyer been charged, he'll do it like a voodoo Real dope boy, 100,000 in the visa Presidents attend, slide by, we don't see you I been getting money, I ain't worried about what he do Yeah. 
baby I'm just saying do that later And I'll start hitting Please don't take me Cups of that stuff All my people been in here I see all of my friends here Guess you don't have the time to can't get no more Flights in the morning What you doing that's so important I've been drinking so much That I'ma call you anyway and say You're the nigga that you love so bad I know you still think about the times we have Okay, so um, that's going to be the end of application, right? I'm going to really get into Apex and Shape after I do finish filing Which I'm also going to show you in this video I'm um, here, I'm just adding a few beads to the sides um to get some more opaqueness maybe fill in some dents i might have <laughs> um because you know it happens to the best of us but yeah um as you can see my application is pretty flawless see um but i want to show you how i really get into um my shape so i believe in my last video i said i go sidewall to sidewall um, I'm supposed to be showing you yeah sidewall to sidewall and then I work on free edge now it's really important that at this point um, you have beveled your nail file um, just so that even if you do come in contact with the client's hand you are not cutting into their skin but at all points you should be pulling that extra skin back not to hurt them but to move it out of the way um, this is how I get a smooth, flat nail. This way there's no lumps, bumps, dents. Um, and I don't like to fully trust in my e-file for this. This is what I like to call contouring the nail. Um, so this is how I get my shape. I will go in and as you can see, the front half of this nail is completely white. And that's how I know that it is all flush and flat. Um, this allows me to see if I have any dents. I will go in my with my e-file in the back, um, but this has been the best way for me to get the perfect shape, I would like to say. Um, most of my clients say that I am definitely going to shape the hell out of a nail, and this is how I do it. I, I ca literally call it contouring the nail. Um, I, once I do sidewall to sidewall and then file the free edge, I am taking my file and, you know, coming in toward the center of the nail on both sides. And I try to do it, um, the same amount on each side, if that makes sense. So if I'm filing back and forth about five or six times on one side, I want to do the same thing on the other side, just for everything to be cohesive. And um, once I do this, I am going to go into sealing my cuticle, so I am just going to let you watch so you can see how I get my shape done. All you wanna do is gas me, how we end up in the backseat, just trying to get to the back. We on the same page, you the same way, only keep the fam around me, so let me know what it's gonna be. I don't plan on getting no sleep, why we doing our thing? Moving too fast, candy paint with the windows all black seats, creme brulee. What they gon' say? Put the top down, screaming money, anything. We up till six in the morning. When the sunrise will be on it. Boy, I got five, we all so alive. Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' stop, baby, when we gon' go.
Okay, so now that we have done our finished filing, I have this in real time. And I'm just showing you uh, what it looks like once I've done this with my hand file. Um, I won't say they're perfect, but I think they're pretty damn perfect, you know? Um, they don't have that really large bump, but the apex is still there. The structure is still there. Um, equal uh, disbursement of product. There's no bumps. It's flat, um, but it still has a really great shape. And, you know, this is my favorite part. It takes me the longest, honestly. Now I'm going to go into sealing the cuticle. This is important for lifting and things like that. If you deal with lifting, um, one, I would check into better primers or bonders. I think in the first video, I talked about me using uh, Protein Bond. That's a really good one. Even the Mia Secrets um, primer is really good. I also like OPI's Bond-Aid. There are a lot of options out. It's all about personal preference and what works well for you. So I'm going in with a coarse sanding band for this part. I do not touch the skin with this. I do not use a coarse sanding band on the natural nail plate, but I do like to kick off my uh, sealing of the cuticle with a coarse sanding band. And since I didn't use my hand file close to the cuticle, this is also going to kind of help smooth the back out and everything like that. I will go in with a ceramic bit to further uh, kind of thin that area out just so we don't deal with lifting. But yeah, we're just sealing the cuticles and I'm gonna let you watch. Honestly, I'm just to help smooth out things even further and that is going to be the end of this video let me know what else it is you want to see because next we're going to do a little bit of nail art and that is going to be all so make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time that i upload and i will see y'all in my next video bye <laughs>